Kura Matapeng, Minister of Health and Social Welfare of Lesotho. You know, USAID is one of the US, USG organizations that are contributing a lot in the fight against TB and HIV and AIDS, and in particular TB. And what Stop TB then brings in is all other agencies that are working around TB to make sure that they complement each other with their work. And the government of Lesotho clearly has to be committed one enabling legislation to make sure everything is on is, is in place and also bringing the new technology as fast as possible. There are only two ways of diagnosing it over in the past hundred years. Both of them very, very not definitive, very difficult to, to, to interpret by other people. So um, this is hundred years old and the vaccine against TB equally as old. I'll tell you when we're looking for whether we at all we had any MDR cases. We found that uh, it was very difficult to, we actually found the MDR cases, but by the time the results came, which was like 31 days later, patients were dead. So now with the new technology, line from Basse, now the gene expert, within days, within a day, that would be gene expert, patient can actually wait for two hours and get the results. That's a great deal. That's a big deal, actually, in the, in the field of TB in the last 40 years. Nothing like that has ever happened. But believe me, this is a huge deal. It is a small box. It is a complete system where you can actually diagnose TB. That a patient has got TB and that patient has got either multidrug resistant or non-multidrug resistant in two hours. The good thing is the patients will know at the time of contact with the, with the facility. The majority of those who get TB are people who would not, who would, uh, not comply with treatment. For instance, you'd get people, people who are using drugs, people who are drinking a lot, alcoholics. And these are people, and again, you feel much better quite fast once you start treatment. Like three weeks later, you already feel good. So most of these people, the compliance was very, very poor. So the bacteria got used to the drugs. So we were using the same drugs to treat the same drug uh, that to use to treat TB that already knew the drugs, so to speak. So in, in the end, they, you, they, they, it rendered treatment completely useless. But the commitment to the government, from, the gov from us as Lesotho government, is huge. Because we want to see each and every patient who has TB treated and completing treatment. What we have done is to treat a patient who, is, who has TB as though they also have HIV. Whenever, whenever you walk through that door and we, we realize that you have TB, we are looking for HIV. Those who have HIV, we are looking for TB in them. So they, they, you, you are treating it as a patient holistically because we realize that we need to do that. The other issue that I think we are waiting for is, will be um, new drugs and we already have a, a machine that can be used at the point of care and now new vaccine, that, that's it. You, unfortunately you need all three, new drugs, new vaccine and technology for diagnosis that is accessible, that is used at the point of care.